Aloha! In this video today, I'm going to prepare and modify three ships on the workshop for use in the star salvage scenario. So let me know your thoughts on the process, and I am open to suggestions on more ships to convert. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I go to the workshop and I look at top rated all time, the most popular over all time, let's pick a capital vessel. And let's look for a popular capital vessel that we can integrate into the game. Choice. Ooh, Daedric. Actually, yes. Yes. I like his builds. So let's subscribe to that. And copy the page URL for later reference to give credit to the author. Okay. We're also going to look for a popular SV. This one is perfect. The Gladius by Mr. Ice Cat. So we're going to subscribe to that. And we're doing the same thing for a hover vessel. And we found the legacy frame lock. Day zero subscribed from Excalibur. And again, we're copying the URL for that one. So we've loaded up our Star Salvage creative game. We've got some work to do. We can use these as examples as we create ships for Star Salvage. So let's bring in one of our ships that we subscribe to. Let's see here. Why don't we start with the Gladius? Actually, why don't we start with the HV? Where is it? The frame lock. D0, spawn that in. And here we go. Alright, so there's five phases on what we want to do. Phase one is removing any um, high value devices. Phase two would be damaging blocks. Phase three would be replacing blocks with damaged or trust blocks. Phase four is paint, painting dirty symbols on it to give it a weathered appearance. And phase five is saving. So here we go. Why don't we start with phase one, removing any high value blocks in here, such as warp drives or shields. And obviously the HV, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really have any high value items that I would say. So I don't think we have to remove any devices. Um, so we can just skip that step. All right, so the next step is damaging. And we've got the pistol for discrete damage. And we've got a minigun for more of an area of effect, or a spray damage, I should say. The rocket launcher would be more of an area of effect damage. All right, so our goal is to randomly damage the ship using one of those three weapons. Uh, most of the blocks should be damaged to a degree we want to check damage levels with a multi-tool. So as we can see with the multi-tool, some damage. I want to I want to damage most of the blocks here. So I'm going to paint this a bit with the May gun. Paint might be the wrong word. All right. If we take a look with a multi-tool, yes, we can see uh, it's pretty banged up. It's a little banged up, I should say. It's salvageable. Hey, because this is star salvage. All right, so we've damaged it, I believe, sufficiently well. So let's move on to phase three, replacing blocks. So I think I want to replace these side blocks that were here with these damaged blocks. Let's see if I can find the right piece. I think replacing this block with that would look nice. I want to click on N and lock the color palette. Alright, so that looks sufficiently banged up, damaged. 
Let's see, trust block, is there a cur there is. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Maybe I would do some dirt here. Maybe some dirt there. Okay, so I think I'm alright with uh, with the dirt symbols on that one. So I'm going to say the painting is done. Now I want to give the entire ship a once-over. Does it look like a ship that we would find in the game? I think it has too many ground repulsors. So I am actually going to make this a little bit more difficult for the player by removing one so that... If they get in here, it might be a little difficult to steer because the nose would keep hitting the ground. Yep. We want the player to do some replacement work to it. Um, for this one, I feel like I want to get rid of the generator but keep the fuel tank. Oops. So when the player finds it, it's just going to have a fuel tank and a cockpit and one thruster. So they need to put some work into it in order to make it serviceable, if you will. All right. Now I'm going to remove the core. So they need to put a core in when they find it. And so it spawns appropriately in the game. And then I'm going to save the blueprints. And if I go Alt-O... Save as, I'm going to save it as star salvage dash hv dash, oops, frame lock day zero. Maybe. Okay, next we're going to start on the SV. So let's go ahead and spawn the Gladius into the game. And we're going to follow the same steps that we did with the HV. Phase 1 removal, Phase 2 damage, Phase 3 replacement, Phase 4 paint, and Phase 5 saving. So we'll start out by removing um, all of the CPU blocks. So let's see here. This one has Tier 2 and two Tier 3s. Remove that. Um, then we want to remove about 50 to 75% of the thrusters and the weapons. So these top ones, we're going to remove those. Most of those, I should say. The ones in the back, remove most of those. Sides. Let's see here on both sides. A little hard to see. All right, oh, there's some more in the neck of the plane. I don't know, it's probably the wrong way to say it. Let's see, we got two front thrusters. So we're just going to remove one, leave the other one. Yep, yep. Uh, those two downward thrusters. Um, Get rid of both of those. I want to make it a little bit difficult for when the player finds it so that it can't just put a core in and go. Need to do some work to it. Okay, so we removed most of the thrusters. Alright, now the weapons. We got a Gatling gun, a rail gun, and a rocket launcher on both sides. So we're going to keep one rail gun on this side. And we'll, we'll have one of each. So I think that's fair. I've seen the same amount on other SVs in the game. Okay, so warp drives and shields. This one does not have a warp drive. It does have a shield, though. So we're going to get rid of the shield. The Pentaxid tank, I'm going to keep that in. I remember one SV in the game, that one, I think, one of the junk SVs, as a pentaxid tank, and I think that's it. I'm not sure if there are any other ones. So anyways, we'll leave that one there. Um, this one, 
is an older design, so it has a lot of RCS. And I'm going to remove all but one of these RCSs. Okay. All right, so we just got one RCS in here. I don't want to completely strip that ship down. I'm going to keep most of the low value devices. What I mean by low value is like fuel tanks, ammo repositories, maybe get rid of some of these generators. Fridge, we'll keep the fridge. The pinger is a good device to have. And the constructor. It's really nice to find that, which means I should remove it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep the constructor, the pentaxid tank. Um, hmm, do I want to I'll keep one generator in it? Because that's not going to be enough power to move it. 102 tank. Okay, great. We removed most of the thrusters. All right, I'm, I'm good for those devices. We'll keep those in there. So removal phase done. Now the next phase is damage. I'm gonna randomly damage the ship. Uh, we'll start with some AOE from the rocket launcher. Go around the ship a couple times. Make sure it's nice and banged up. I want to keep the cockpit though. I'll go around the ship a couple more times and paint with the minigun, if you will. Alright, let's do a check with the multi tool. How am I doing for black damage? Light damage, medium, severe damage. How about that? Take off the side of the ship. Nice, nice. I didn't want any pieces hanging. Okay, so I've circle strafed the ship a couple of times with the minigun and the rocket launcher and C4 charges. Uh, yeah, I think the damage state, I think I'm good with this. All right, so let's move on to replacing the blocks. Okay, so I've gone around the ship and I've replaced or removed a bunch of blocks replaced with damaged blocks or just remove blocks altogether to give it this this damaged look a bunch of holes in it pretty banged up all right so now I'm gonna move on to truss and for truss I want to start by replacing the shield with a truss block and I'm just gonna use this was where the shield was. So I'm going to use a bunch of curved truss right there. So that's where the shield was. Don't really have the correct shape. That's pretty close. I put truss where the thrusters in the back used to be. Just All right, I don't want to overdo it with the truss. Some random blocks here and there will work fine. All right, now paint. Paint some dirt on here. Give it a little bit of dirt in the bottom. I don't want to overdo it again. Okay, so now I want to give the entire ship a good once over. Is there anything else I want to change? Damage, destroy, replace, paint. I think this is pretty good. I think. Alright. Uh, ship. Gladius, Mr. Ice Cat, apologies, I'm sorry. Had to be done for Star Salvage. Okay, so we're going to remove the core. We're going to save the blueprint, and we're going to move on. Right, Alt-O, save as Star Salvage. SV, Gladius. Uh, I already made a copy, so I'm going to make a second copy. Okay. Great. So we are done with the SV and now let's move on to the CV. Okay, so for the CV we picked the Eclipse and I'm sorry, what is it called? 
the Eclipse, yes, the Eclipse Pikeman from Daedric. So let's go ahead and spawn this. Ooh, it's big. All right. Put that right here. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the HV and the SV to the CV. Now, this one I have not looked at yet. I'm subscribed to some of Daedric's uh, blueprints on the workshop, but I haven't looked at this one yet. So I need to do a run through and get familiar with the ship. And then I will start the um, removal, damage, replacement, paint, save process. Okay, I did a quick run through and this is a nice ship. I actually want to take this um, on my next playthrough of uh, Vanilla or Reforged. It's a nice little starter CV, so I'm I'm not gonna give a tour. I'll save that for Jay Randall's "What's New in the Workshop" videos. Um, but yeah, this this is a really nice ship, and again, it's gonna be a shame to uh, make a beat up version. <laughs> so again, apologies to the author. Sorry, but hey, uh, I want uh, to help out, make some more uh, content for Star Savage. So here we go. First is going to be removing any of the uh, more delicious parts, if you will. So we'll do that. All right, I removed all but one of the minigun turrets. I kept both of the sentries on here. I removed the warp drive, the constructors, um, most of the fuel tanks, some of the O2 tanks, the clone chamber, the armor locker, the uh, CPU core block, the pentaxid tank, some of the grow plots, kept the fridge and the fridges, well maybe just one fridge, I uh, removed the medical. Okay, I removed some more miscellaneous components, removed most of the thrusters, and I'm done with the removal part, and I'm going to move on to damage. So this one, I'm going to chew on this for a while. Okay, so I've damaged this thing pretty bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's in rough shape. So I think we're done with the damage phase, and now let's move on to the um, replace blocks phase. Okay, so I've gone around and replaced some of the blocks with damage blocks. Uh, a couple interesting things. I'm trying to figure out which shape to put in for the damage blocks is uh, has been an educational journey for me because I've had to figure out, okay, like what is this block? What is that block? The transitions. It's helped me to learn the transitions a little bit better. What I mean is that if I grab the normal steel block here, I've had to learn these combinations, uh, the various combinations that the artists use to, to do these transitions. So it's helped me understand how they created the ship. And uh, it also helps me be a better builder eventually because I'm tearing these things apart and figuring how they work and sort of putting them back together, if you will, with destroy blocks. Uh, anyways, I also had to remove some things that were floating, like there was a deco block here that was floating, so I got rid of that. And there was a, a floating post for the light here, so I had to get rid of that, just for a little added realism. Uh, so anyways, I went around and replaced some of the blocks with uh, random destroyed blocks. Um, yeah. So now I think I'm going to move on to the next phase and put some truss in. Okay, I put some random truss blocks in here, scattered around. I also did the uh, truss block uh, thruster hints, if you will. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to mention is that I kept the left side of the wing relatively intact so that when the player finds the ship and tries to recreate the right wing, they have a, a reference. They can go back and say, oh, okay, so it looked like this. I'm gonna replace it over here with um, with salvage blocks, if you will. So just wanna say that quick. Uh, I um, put a truss block warp drive in this area as a hint to the player that, hey, this is where the warp drive goes. And a truss block pentaxid and CPU block there. So yeah, a couple hints for the player uh, to say, hey, here, uh, here's some engines and some warp drives. So truss blocks are done and now paint. Okay, I finished doing uh, the um, painting, the uh, dirt, if you will. 
So this time, instead of painting uh, the dirt on the bottom of the ship like I did with the HV and the SV, assuming it you know was coming in for a landing and, and slid down and it's been in the dirt for a while. This one, it has some landing gear still, and my thought was a little bit differently. Everywhere there's a hole in the roof, I went ahead and put that uh, that, that dirt or, or uh, mold or whatever you want to call it, symbol or decal, so that um, my thought was, okay, the weather, the rain, the what have you has been uh, weathering away at it since uh, there's a hole in the roof. So everywhere there was a hole, I went ahead and put some of that uh, dirty decal stuff down there. There's some right there in that hole. There's a hole right here, so I put some decal work right there as well. And there's a big hole in here, and it's gotten all moldy and nasty and dirty, so whoever gets the ship has to start scrubbing this away. So, uh, yeah, that was my that was my thought for, for that decal work there. So I think I am done. So my last step is to save it. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna, just going to give it a quick once over and ask myself if anything else needs to be removed or damaged or replaced. This one's been pretty beat up. So I, th I think it's a good candidate uh, for use in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the core, save the blueprint, and uh, yeah, send it on to see if it gets accepted. All right. Okay, I've saved the CV and the Eclipse Pikeman and the Gladius and the HV uh, frame lock day zero. They are all ready to be sent on. And again, I just use the existing ships as a reference, both the original blueprint and the one that I found in game, to try to figure out how to convert these for Star Salvage. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.